In uh, the physical science course, if you're working from a laptop, your home page will look something like this. To navigate your way around the Canvas app, modules is a good place to start. My focus in this particular video will be on setting up and submitting a uh, laboratory assignment for the class. So I'm going to go down to uh, Laboratory 1, Density of Soap home version. But the modules are the place you can see the videos you should watch and when you should watch them. Well, I'll go ahead and open up the laboratory uh, report. You can see I've apparently already submitted it once. But I'll go ahead and submit it again and show you how that process works and can work. Um, this is just a description of it and the rubric that I use to mark it. You should look at the rubric. You can see from the rubric how many points you'll get for each of the different sections that are required in your report. You have to have an introduction. If your introduction states a clear purpose and well explains the system, the hypothesis, and the names of your team, which for this first lab may, may be just you uh, working solo at home, uh, that's uh, worth five points. If uh, this lab is done at, at in residence at the college, you'll have team members. You'll probably be working in pairs on your soap. So, whether you're doing it at home or, or doing it in residence, uh, you can uh, reflect that. And you can see what happens if you don't have a good, uh, if you're, if it's a weak, confusing, unclear what the purpose of the lab is, that's only two points. And that's true for each of these. The materials, the procedure, data should be in a table with all the relevant data recorded. The table format, you can see there also. Uh, the graph. Numeric analysis, that will be a decimal screenshot. Uh, the discussion document format, I do mark for grammar, vocabulary, spelling counts, and how coherent and cohesive your uh, document is, is marked. You'll also see three student learning outcomes that are measured by the laboratory reports, exploring science to experiment, mathematical models and quantitative solutions, and your communication skills. And those are part of the rubric too. That's a brief overview of the rubric. To do the assignment, uh, you may want to look at the sample laboratory report. But to do the assignment, uh, you'll need a blank document. Now, whether you use uh, Google Docs or Microsoft Word, uh, that won't matter too much. You will wind up probably outputting some form that you can then up upload or connect to. Here on the laptop, I'm going to go to my drive, and I'm going to set up a new Google Docs document, just a blank document. This is going to be my uh, uh, lab. Oh, sorry. It hasn't caught up to my typing. Laboratory report one. The density of soap. This is just the title of the file. This isn't the actual header of the file. That would go down here. and I'll put that down here. Density of soap. Now, when I'm working on a laptop, I tend to type first and format second. So that's what you'll see me doing here. And then the introduction in this laboratory. Da -da 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 -da. And then I'm going to have in there the materials I used. You list the materials you used. I'm going to also be putting in the procedure. What did I do? This is going to be like a recipe. Uh, and again, look at the sample lab to see how to do that. I'm going to have a data table, and uh, I'll put that in. And, uh, go ahead and put that in now. I'm on a laptop, so I'm just going to go to Insert Image, Upload from Computer. And uh, I've already screenshotted my Desmos, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my table from there. What I've done is screenshotted from this particular Desmos laboratory from uh, a couple terms ago. I've got uh, the data, I'm borrowing someone else's data just for this demonstration. So it looks something like this, the volume, the mass, the analysis graph. And so I'm putting, that's what's going into my report at this time. So there's my table. And uh, before I scroll down, I'll go ahead and go back and I'll do this. You'll see this, this should be heading one. These should be heading level two. I do these after I do my typing and so forth and so on. You, you'll, you'll see this in the laboratory report format. The data table is going to be a heading level two, as is the procedure. 
uh, I can just grab that and do this. So, format, copy. Uh, down here is going to be the graph. Now, below this data table, I'm going to have to tell it the caption, and that's, you go look at the, the uh, sample report for details. Uh, the volume of V uh, sub 1 is in uh, uh, cubic centimeters. There's a whole caption that has to go here. The mass is in grams. So I'm going to just, um, my point here is to show you how to get this thing submitted. Real quick, throw in the graph just for fun. Uh, not the chart. I wanted it's an image. I did a screen capture from Desmos. That's what I recommend that you do. There's my graph. Didn't stay glued to my this, so let's change this over to heading level two, and it will jump down just like that. Magic. Uh, a little bit of magic in here. The analysis in our labs. Uh, this term. And again, that's got to be a heading level two. So this time I'll go ahead and pre-format that. Uh, these are going to be just simply uh, the Desmos analysis. And then in the discussion, you'll explain what this means. That p-value of 0.74662, or about 0.75, that's the density of the soap. And so then there'll be a discussion down here uh, of results and all of that for the laboratory. You can see that at the bottom. Now, I'll go ahead and uh, leave this here, but I'll... I'll I am going to do one more thing while I'm here, just so I can show you how to do it. I can download this as a Microsoft Word document, or I can download it as a PDF, either one. And so just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and download this as a PDF, and let that download as a PDF. And that's happening at the bottom of the screen. You can't see that right now, but it's downloading that. I'm going to go back to Canvas and look at how to submit this assignment. And when I clicked on Submit, I just clicked on Submit at the top. It dropped me to the bottom down here. And you can see that I can upload a file. So if I wanted to, I could go get that PDF that I just downloaded, and I could simply upload that file. All right, that's a possibility, one thing I can do. Uh, I can also potentially go to my Google Drive. This it might not work as well as you might hope. Is it's probably going to connect back to my COMFSM account, G Suite, and so that probably won't work for you unless you've saved your document, built your document in your college drive, and you can do that. You can go to your college drive. Uh, I've got a the college drive is here, and if I put the document here. There's a, say I've got my document here, I'll use this one, bar of soap measurements. This is in my college drive. You have one too. You put a one right there. My This is my home drive. It has a zero right here. Change that zero to a one and I get into my college drive. Another piece of magic. Anyway, uh, I can then pull from my college drive uh, using this Google Drive LTI 1.3. But I have to tell it that uh, that's the account I want. Select the file. A couple screens in between. I probably have to run through to authorize access between. But there we go. There's my file. There's my bar. There's, uh, sorry, these are other people's. So I need to go to my tribe. <laughs> I'm still an instructor over here. Uh, and you can see here I've got a uh, size folder. There's the bar of soap. And then I can add that file and attach it. And that does work. That will come across from the LTI 1.3 drive. And I can submit it from here. You can see it's actually imported it as a docx file for those of you who are tech savvy. It's made a conversion of the file. But that does work. It does work uh, as well. And uh, you can poke around and play around. Uh, I can't use the Google Drive. You might be able to. And that might get you back to your home drive. I, I'm masquerading as a student currently. I'm in a student view down here, so I can't actually use it. But you should, you might uh, play with that. I'll go back to file upload though and show you that I can just simply upload that laboratory report. I put it in as a PDF. I could put any comments that I wanted to send to my instructor here. If I needed to attach two files for some reason, I can. But I should have only one file. The graphs and everything should be in there. And then I just simply click submit. Uh, and the submit assignment, um, and I can submit the assignment.
and that will go through the submission process. I've now submitted it more than once. <laughs> but that's all there is to really submitting an assignment inside Canvas for laboratories. You just simply click on Submit, and that window will appear down here. When I click on Resubmit, that's where this appears down here. It scrolls me down, shows me that there's a place to submit. Again, all of these things are available to me. That's a, a little overview of uh, submitting from a, a, lap, a laptop.